Do you hear a sound and almost instantly see a specific color? You may be part of a special group of people, about 4% of the world's population, who can experience synesthesia. You're not imagining things. A new study shows that synesthesia is real, and it has brain scans to prove it. When these synesthetic people hear colors, scans show their brain parts for sight and sound are speaking to each other. Since synesthesia seems to be genetic, some researchers picked three families where this feature was present. They went on to play with DNA sequencing, comparing the genes of family members with synesthesia to those without. They still don't have the complete picture of this unique feature, but they did manage to narrow it down to some 37 possible gene suspects. Sometimes, after a nap in an uncomfortable position, you might have felt your arm or leg all tingly or numb. You'd think it all has to do with poor blood circulation. In fact, it might be due to a little thing called paresthesia. This is when your body starts experiencing unusual sensations because your nerves are squeezed or irritated. Paresthesia can give you anything from a burning sensation to that annoying feeling like your arm or leg is not responding at all. It might even throw in some itching or the good old pins and needles. Usually, it shouldn't take longer than 30 minutes tops. Give the affected body part a good shake and it might speed up the process. If it takes longer than that, or if you're getting repeated episodes of paresthesia for no reason, best to check with the specialist to make sure everything's okay. You know what's also worth checking? If you've already liked this video and subscribed to the channel, you know, just to make sure you'll never miss anything. On a regular day, you don't even think about your stomach or its chemical content. Can you imagine if one day this substance just vanished? It contains hydrochloric acid, which is also used in fertilizers, rubber, and steel. Should you ever inhale it, you'd get some serious nose and breathing trouble. Whenever you're chewing something, your stomach starts working those gastric juices. They help because they can help break down protein, activate pepsin, get rid of whatever bacteria you may have swallowed without even knowing, and signal your food to move on towards the, well, the exit. Without the acid, the food would just sit there, turning into a bacterium breeding ground. Proteins and nutrients won't get absorbed. Your lunch or dinner might rush through your system as is, and you could end up eliminating undigested food. Ugh. There's a reason why paper cuts hurt so much. For starters, they happen on your fingertips, which are very sensitive areas. That's because they're full of receptors, which are like your body's receptionists, helping you determine the size, shape, texture, and temperature of the things you touch. When you get a paper cut, these receptors get instantly triggered, sending unpleasant information to the brain. Paper cuts also aren't like a clean slice from a sharp knife because of the dullness of the paper edges. This exposes even more of those receptors. Paper cuts don't bleed much and they don't clot well either. It leaves the nerves out in the open, making the discomfort even worse. We're always using our hands, so these cuts keep reopening, taking forever to heal. Paper is often treated with chemicals that can irritate your skin too. Deja vu seems to just hit you out of nowhere. You're not a sorcerer and you're also not communicating with anyone from the beyond. It's just your brain malfunctioning. According to doctors, deja vu is experienced when two parts of the brain are having a bit of a misunderstanding. These two brain parts are located on each side of your skull, right above your temples. They're like the memory cards of your brain helping you remember things like locations or other people's faces. They even decode emotions and understand language. Now, in each of these brain areas called temporal lobes, there's a region called the hippocampus. This one is responsible for short-term memories. Sometimes the brain can get small glitches, confusing the hippocampus. That's when we get deja vu. All this process messes with your recognition memory systems, 
giving you that weird feeling that you've been there before, or you've already met a person you're seeing for the first time. This is a completely normal process, and you're more likely to experience deja vu if you're between 15 and 25 years old. It also seems that people who travel a lot or have the ability to remember their dreams experience it more often. It's hard to imagine if a whole civilization could survive without anyone having sight. That's highly unlikely, and here's why. First, imagine trying to grow food when you can't even see what you're doing. Prepping the soil would turn into a nightmare, because without sight, we'd be lost in, say, a massive wheat field with no reference points. Gathering that little food wouldn't be easy either. Animals might be lurking everywhere, ready to harm us. Communication would be complicated, since we wouldn't be able to read something without touching. Even our social lives would be different. Without eyes, we'd be left to rely on voices. Talking to someone without knowing who else is listening. Creepy. If you've ever had a spicy pepper, you know it's not technically hot in terms of its temperature. So why does it feel like it's burning, even if it's just out of the fridge? Well, spicy food has these chemicals that trick your body into turning up its internal air conditioning. First, your lips and tongue feel like they're on fire. Then your nose starts to feel all runny, and you might even shed a tear or two. Your blood vessels dilate, and suddenly, your entire body temperature goes up. To cool things down, you start to sweat. Your lungs might participate as well and signal your diaphragm to pitch in some hiccups, all in an attempt to kick out the fiery intruder. In most cases, all these bodily triggers are caused by a substance called capsaicin, often found in hot peppers like habanero and cayenne. Even though we might feel like we're moving around in our dreams, we aren't because of a complex system in our bodies. This keeps your muscles from doing all sorts of outrageous things because of the wild stories our brains might be coming up with at night. It turns out that most of this brain chemistry happens during the rapid eye movement, or REM phase, about 90 minutes after you've fallen asleep. During REM, or REM, your brain is experiencing some of the weirdest dreams, while your voluntary muscles, like your arms and legs, are turned off. This muscle lockdown is the reason why some people wake up and can't move, experiencing what they call sleep paralysis. The big mystery was how the muscles got into this paralyzed state. Early on, scientists thought glycine, a neurotransmitter, was responsible. Research has shown that even if scientists blocked glycine, the muscles remained frozen. It took a while longer for scientists to find out that to keep those muscles immobile, you need both glycine and another communication chemical called GABA, or GABA. We're not as hairy as our ancestors, but we do still get little goosebumps when we're cold. It's because of these tiny muscles in our hair follicles, called erector pili, that pull our hair upright. For furry animals, this creature helps keep them warm. But for us, it doesn't do much in terms of heat. Still, we and some other less hairy creatures kept this ability over the years. Experiments were done to figure out more about these goosebumps. They found these three key players. Those erector pili muscles, sympathetic nerves, and hair follicles. When they played around with the nerves, hair growth slowed down. The nerves and our hair follicles work like partners, making chemical synapses. So, goosebumps aren't just a quick fix to lower temperatures. They might also tell our stem cells to grow more hair in the long run. That's why losing those muscle cells could be linked to going bald. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.